guys, Garrett here. I'm the developer and creator of Sale, and this is the devlog where we talk about all the news and relevant things to Sale. And I'm so excited for this week because I finally get to show you guys the NPC enemy ships that we've been working on, and they are so freaking cool. So I wanna jump straight into that. I'm gonna walk through each of the enemies we've been working on, and I wanna get you guys' feedback on them. So if you have any ideas or suggestions on how to improve these NPCs, please leave them down in the comments below, but let's jump straight into it and look at the enemy pirate ships that you will be fighting on the waters of sail. All right, guys, here we go. The enemy NPCs have all been designed to create havoc on the waters in a way that will both reward you as the player and challenge you. So I'm super excited to show you guys these ones. Let's just go into the first one. So this first guy, the whole point behind him is that we were trying to make basically a boarding party ship. The whole point of this ship is gonna to try to be to get as close as he can to you and board your ship and start spawning enemies on board for you to fight hand to hand. So let's take a look at this, what that looks like inside the game. So here we have our ship. As you can see, there's fog in the distance, so you're not gonna be able to see obviously till infinity, but as you'll see when we're starting to play this game, that you can see the ships come in slowly and they like appear and it's kind of a, it's kind of almost eerie but i'm really liking it obviously we're going to refine it more with artistic stuff and whatnot but let's spawn in our first enemy which is called i'm calling him the boarding party so here he comes up on this right side here he tries to come just straight up to you and gets in line to board your ship and as you can see a little ramp spawn so that's how like they'll start jumping on or whatnot but the whole idea behind this guy is that he's trying to get close to you as possible and just start jumping pirates on your ship to you know wreak havoc on your crew and you but this ship is going to be super easy to destroy you're just going to have to use your cannons to be able to shoot at him and it'll be a one-shot sinker so it'll be really interesting to see how that one works out what do you guys think of the boarding party fun thoughts of fun suggestions if you have anything leave them down in the comments below our next enemy is what i call the I guess you could call him the bomb dropper. Basically the whole idea behind this enemy is he's gonna try to get in front of your ship, in the path of your ship, and drop explosives for your ship to run into. Here he comes. Here comes the ship going straight for you, trying to get inside your line of sight, trying to get inside the path that you were trying to go on, right? And once he gets in front of you, he tries to turn and get in front of the, like your ship. <laughs> and here we see that the physics are working, so. There's gonna be some ship collisions, guys. There's something to worry about. So here he goes. He's in front of your ship, and boom. There you go. There's your bomb that spawns right in front of you. And so if you were to run into that, obviously your ship's gonna take damage and whatnot, and he just spins off, right? And so th with this guy, again, he's gonna be a very like small health enemy, but the whole idea with him is to make it so that you have to use like the steering wheel to steer around bombs and whatnot, and it'll be a way for the sailors and all you captains to improve your sailing skills and whatnot. Super fun enemy type, really excited. Obviously, it needs a little bit of more fleshing out. I obviously don't really want him to go, you know, circle around the back of your ship and then go in front of you. Like, I just want him to, like, go in front of you. But we'll be tweaking those things as we're moving along. But we really need you guys' feedback. So if you have anything to say about these enemies, please leave your comments down below. Please leave them down below. We need this feedback. This is what we need to make this game great. So please let us know what you're thinking about these enemies. Now, this next one is pretty much your classic pirate ship. It's the smaller version. There's gonna be basically two versions of pirate ships, like the classic pirate ship where they try to, you know, get side to side with you. There'll be more of a uh, medium ship, which is a smaller vessel that has a few, like maybe two or three cannons on it. And then there'll be a larger ship, which will have five to six cannons on it. So let's, let's take a look at both of those. He appears in the fog. Oh, it looks so cool. Oh, I love that look of like the ships coming through the fog and you finally see them. It's gonna make for such cool, like, moments and like we're making it so that the crew is gonna be able to like shout out to you when they see a ship but like i, I love that feeling of like kind of seeing the ship and also it's like oh crap so um yeah so looking at this guy he basically tries to circle you and you know get the best cannon angle he can on you and he'll begin firing right right now we just have the movement programmed in we don't necessarily have all of the like weapons and whatnot programmed in because basically what we're going to do is we're going to take the same ai crew that we're working on for the player ship and we're just going to copy and paste them onto the enemy ships and they'll basically be their own autonomous crews manning ships and fighting you which is really cool if you think about it but yeah so this ship basically like will try to circle you try to get the best angle you can and if you move the ship if you move your own ship right he will readjust and get right back into firing you which is just so cool like ai is just fascinating to me i'm freaking love it but yeah 
that's uh, that's like your medium ship. Um, the large ship is pretty much the same thing. Um, so I just spawned in the large ship. He's coming in right here. You know, same basic idea. He's trying to get within range, try to get a good angle on you. He'll be a little bit farther out, maybe a little longer range on his cannons. But basic idea is the same, right? He's trying to get a good angle on you. You'll be able to maneuver around him and hopefully have some really interesting combat. But yeah, that's the medium and large ship, guys. Your classic pirate ships, once you once you have these ones disabled, you'll be able to board those ships and loot their stuff for, you know, treasure and whatnot. But let me know what you guys think about these two ships down in the comments below. Okay, now, this last ship is still a work in progress, but I love the idea of it. Basically, this giant ship is a floating spawner, like a floating fortress per se, right? He basically tries to stay decently far away and he moves really slow, but he's gonna be one that spawns other ships. We don't have that quite programmed in yet, but he is going to have massive mortar cannons that have huge range on them. And if you can disable the ship, there's gonna be a ton of loot on board. But let's, let's take a look at what he looks like right now. And you guys can give me some suggestions on how to make this guy look better, feel better, whatever. The basic idea is, is that this guy is supposed to kind of like stay back, spawn those little boats that I showed at the very beginning, the two um, first ones. There, he's gonna stay back, move slowly and spawn those guys. He moves decently slow. And you know, same idea, he tries to just kind of stay at a distance, circle you, and he's gonna have these super long range cannons that are gonna mortar you from a long ways away and basically spawn more of these little enemies for you to one shot and try to avoid. And I really like the idea of this guy. He needs a lot of tweaking, as you can see, like the speed and turning is way off. So he has a really hard time calculating his whole trajectory and whatnot. But the idea behind this guy is to be kind of, you know, this floating fortress and he will only appear when you have a huge bounty on your head, meaning you collect a lot of treasure, you've upgraded a lot of stuff, yada, yada, yada. And the reward for getting this guy and boarding his ship and taking this captain is going to be insane, guys. So here's the extra large ship. What do you guys think about that, about the floating fortress idea? I think it's really cool. Obviously, it needs some tweaks as far as, like, you know, the coding and stuff goes. But this is just the basics, guys. This is just the beginning. And I would love and appreciate your guys' feedback to figure out more about how we should make these things and whatnot. Uh, a couple other really cool things to mention with uh, these enemy NPCs is we're also working on, you know, rebuilding all of the ship physics. So I could probably display that a little bit here with uh, uh, messing around with these values. So we've got a new ship controller and whatnot. Can up the throttle and he'll start moving forward. Can't really tell, but he is moving. <laughs> we're trying to figure out how we're going to transfer it from obviously right here inside of the editor into... Uh, you know into VR, but VR is really nice because you know we can basically do what you do in real life and Convert it over to the game. So we'll be working on that this next week along with flushing out the uh, AI crew I was really hoping I would have a full demo for that today guys But I'll just have to either do it next week or in the next devlog um, Which I need to talk to you guys about I am going to start doing these devlogs every two weeks because every two weeks my developers are supposed to deliver to me stuff like this, big updates, big stuff that I can show you guys, get feedback on and everything else. So I want to be in line with them and I want to start doing the devlog every two weeks so that you guys can have something really cool to look forward to and see some major progress being made on the game and I think that'll just be best for sale and going forward here. I hope you guys are understanding of that. It would be awesome for me. I'm still gonna post a video every week. So on weeks that I have the devlog, I'll work on the devlog video. And weeks that I'm not doing the devlogs, I'm gonna do some other stuff to try to contribute more to the VR community. I'm gonna be posting tutorials, maybe some getting started for developer stuff. Maybe I'll make a how-to on how I do my streaming setup, which I'll be streaming tomorrow at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Oh, wait. Not Pacific Standard Time, Mountain Daylight Time, which is 2 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. So if you guys want to catch me on the live stream, it's right here on YouTube tomorrow on Wednesdays. So see you there. But yeah, I can do, I want to do some videos doing that kind of stuff too, so I can contribute to the VR community. But I'm going to keep doing the devlog. I'm just moving into a bi-weekly devlog. So that way I'm in line with my developers and can have really big news to share with you guys and really big progress to share with you guys. So I hope you're okay with that, guys. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all the support. And things are moving quickly, if you cannot tell. We are on full development process now. We're doing really great things. I'm super pleased with all the development that we've done. And it's only going to keep going up. 
Uh, obviously, every two weeks, I'm getting new content that I'll be able to show you guys. And pretty soon here, we will have it into a point where we're going to ship it out to beta testers and have you guys try it, give us feedback, and refine this thing to where it needs to be for launch. So I'm super excited about it. I seriously could not be more stoked about where this game is going and how fast it's all getting done. So huge thanks to you for watching this video. And I hope if you had a good time, you leave a like. That helps me out. It helps out the game. And big thanks to my Patreon supporters, especially my Commodores, Demi and Whitebeard. You guys are homies. Thanks so much for supporting me. If you didn't know, my Patreon, I have exclusive perks for all my supporters. There'll be uh, custom and unique cosmetics once we get multiplayer that I will give to my Patreon supporters. So if you want that kind of stuff, go check out the Patreon. It's down in the link below. And um, that's all from me, guys. I will be back in two weeks with a dev vlog and next week with a tutorial or some other VR related video. So definitely subscribe for that. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one. Thank you.